Okay, one more uh, activity left in our basic app here, and that's the, the lights out activity itself. Uh, very interesting here. Um, in order to do this, we're going to have to learn how to create views in code. So these buttons right here, we're not going to specify in the layout at all. Uh, we'll be creating them. They have to happen dynamically because who knows how many they're, they're going to want. Uh, and we'll actually enclose them in a table row uh, that itself is, is created in code. Um, so it should be kind of interesting. Um, so let's let's go ahead and make the activity. Uh, so we'll make a new uh, Android activity called Lights Out Activity. We'll check to make sure that it's that it's added to the manifest and kind of clean up our strings. And we get a few more strings to um, to add. Uh, we'll come we'll come back to those in a second. So into Eclipse, uh, let's go ahead and, and make that. So we'll make a new other Android activity, and this one we will call our lights out activity. Uh, going to keep the title that they give me for now. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit redundant. Um, so finish it. All right, I took the liberty of going ahead and, and deleting out some of the stuff that we usually get rid of, uh, the fragments and, and so on. Uh, let's go to the manifest here. And so I see that it was created. All right, so so our our name is lights out activity, um, and then it made a new string here. This this title activity lights out uh, with what was there. So let's let's go take a peek at that in our strings. Um, so this one right here was called lights out activity. Um, I'm really fine with if if the you know if it just says linear lights out. Um, so I don't I don't really even need this guy since I can have it refer to the to the main title. So I'm going to go back to my manifest here and change the string. This is all optional, by the way. Uh, I just think I want to clean it up a little bit. Um, so we'll just have this guy be the main title. And for what it's worth, uh, same thing for changing the number of buttons here. I don't need a title uh, separately for that. I already have a change num buttons uh, string there. So this, uh, this title of um, title activity change them buttons don't need and actually you notice this about lights out that shows up two places too so I can get rid of that guy also and if I get rid of it the manifest will complain for a little bit but we'll we'll clean it up here so string uh, about button again you, you don't have to do that but I figure we had some some duplicate strings in here might as well get, get rid of the um, the extra ones uh, hello world and action settings we do not need all right, let's go ahead and uh, copy and paste these guys right here. So you want to grab them from your uh, from the slides. Uh, what do we have, right? So we have uh, something that's going to show up in our layout here, saying you know when we start off, we want to make the buttons match. Uh, there's going to be a couple of of games thing for one move, and then um, a number of moves that are taken so far, uh, and the same thing for for winning. I guess I don't really need this this guy right here. Uh, you won in one move or you won in so many moves and this is just taking care of the pluralization right whether it says move or moves one move or moves so we got a couple different versions here and then there's one for for a new game all right so grab those and go in to your strings and paste them in as follows right and then we'll start making some layouts. So what's the layout going to look like? Uh, we're going to have our table layout. Um, we're just going to have a table layout with, with one row. Lots of different ways we could do this. Uh, that's just how I chose to do it this time. Uh, we're going to have our, our game state above it. And then we'll have the, uh, the, the new game button below it. It's going to be essentially like right, right aligned. Uh, all a relative layout. Hope the middle thing centered here and, and so on. Uh, if you want to see uh, where we're going with this, um, it's all going to be right here, but I think I'll go ahead and, and code it up and, and see how we do. All right, so activity lights out. Uh, the frame layout, go in and make a, make a linear layout, or excuse me, a relative layout. Grab that guy there. And within the relative layout, uh, let's start off with a, a table layout within it. And this guy's going to be centered right in the middle, right there. Uh, I'm going to leave the rows in for now just so it shows up a little bit bigger. Uh, 
I'm going to need a text view above it that is going to be centered. Let's see if I can get it just right. So centered and then above. Uh, and then I want a button that is going to be, uh, it's going to be below the table layout. So I want it to be uh, below the table layout. And then I will align it uh, with the parent all the way over to the, to the right hand side here. Uh, again, different ways I could do it, but that's, that's what I'm going to choose to do right now. Um, looks good. Let's go ahead and, and change whatever properties that, that we want to change. All right. Again, so probably for the last time here, I'll be changing the, the background color to this nice bluish color. I'm going to change my, my uh, table layout here, the ID, to be something like button table. And of course, that's going to mess up a few things. Uh, so underneath these, these table rows that I'm going to get rid of, go away. Uh, now, it, now it's complaining. It has no idea what, what table layout is. But let's go ahead and control space. And we'll see that, that we can go to the button table. Um, and let's see, what else do we want to do? Same thing with, with this guy right here. So we'll make that go to the, the button table. Uh, so this, this guy is a background color. Um, we could put in some padding here. So, so padding is going to be, uh, we'll say like 15 uh, dps. Uh, what else? The table layout uh, looks good. It's centered. Um, it's wrapped. It's a table. So we should probably do some things with, with our columns here. So you remember we had our stretch columns. So we want them to stretch out as much as they can. And there's actually another one that we haven't seen yet called shrink columns. And we want them to shrink if they need to uh, to, to fit. Uh, so that, that should that should work pretty well. Uh, the text view itself, uh, we're gonna have this guy. It is centered. It's above the the button table. Uh, it has a margin below it, so it's not sitting right on top of it. And then the text is gonna start off. Whoops, with the string. Uh, should be something like like uh, I think game start. All right, was the was the right one? Let's go ahead and confirm that. Uh, so yeah, so game start, make the buttons match is what it starts off with. Uh, so oops, change the text size, and I think something like like 24 pixels should be should be fine. And the text color to be the white the white color, and see how that looks. Uh, looks good. And then we've got our button. So let's check out the button here. So this guy is going to be the new game button. Uh, and I guess while I'm changing IDs, I forgot to change this guy up here. So this is going to be my game state text view. All right, what about this button? So it wraps its content just fine. It's aligned uh, right with the parent, so right along the, the right edge here. Uh, it's below the button table, has a margin, and its text should be the string for um, saying that, that we have a, a new game here. Uh, let's check it out. Um, not exactly how things are going to look when, when we're done. Uh, of course, because we're, there's a missing a, a, a table row here. But like I said, we're, we're going to put that in, um, in code. All right, so let's, let's go back and launch this Lights Out activity. So back in main activity, one more time, we're going to make an intent. And we'll call this the play intent, and that's going to be a, a new intent uh, with our context, and then our let's see. So this is the lights out activity class that's going to be launched, and play intent uh, is going to be our argument to start activity. So start activity uh, with this intent. All right. Um, so. So that means our, our lights out activity is going to launch when we run this guy. Let's just make sure we're getting the, the number of uh, buttons. Oh, number of buttons. Forgot that. Let's go back here. And let's add to this intent. How are we going to do this? You remember? Yes. Play intent. At. Get. Put. Put extra. All right. So we'll put it in extra here. Again, it's the number of buttons. So we'll reuse that same key. And we'll pass in my number of buttons. All right. 
All right, so that, that should put it in there. Let's go check the receiving side. So back out in the lights out activity, uh, let's receive it. So we'll go ahead and extract uh, the data from uh, this dot get intent. So that'll give us the, the intent that launched it. And then we'll say data dot get int extra one more time. Um, I hope you don't think that everything are ints here. You can get things like strings and booleans and all sorts of primitives, arrays of, of any of the above. Uh, lots more than you can do than ints. Just happens to be that, that this uh, this example uses just ints. Uh, so go ahead and, and get the this guy, and we're going to need the key from main activity, and then a default. Uh, we can default it to seven if we want. Uh, let's let's for now let's actually default this guy to negative one. Weird things will happen if it's negative one, uh, but let's let's just check to make sure it, that it is. All right. So go ahead and uh, log. And our, our, our log constant was back in main activity as well. And we want to say here, uh, starting with uh, how many, so my num buttons, buttons. And that, of course, is going to beg the question, what is my number of buttons? So this activity is, is also going to have a field called my number of buttons just like the other one did. So let's make a field up here. So private int my num uh, buttons, import log. Launch it. See how it did. All right, so back here we said that we said uh, change the number of buttons up. Let's see, let's try playing it. So play with seven buttons. And it should launch this guy. Uh, no buttons yet. We haven't created them. But let's take a look at, at our log cat here for this guy. And let's look at the last one that was created. And it said starting with seven buttons. Uh, pretty decent. Let's get the slides caught up. So there was our XML for this guy. And we launched the new intent, uh, putting um, putting in the information that we needed to pass to create a new a new lights out game, uh, started the activity, and then on the receiving side inside that new activity, uh, we needed to create a field, so created this one here for the number of buttons itself, and then we grabbed the the uh, the data, and we got the the extra, um, and we just logged the fact that we got it. Uh, so good so far. So we have now how many buttons we want to create. Um, now we're going to need to create a model object, right? So, oh goodness, a model object. So where are we going to get those from? Uh, you remember that that we we had this for the lab, right? So we had a lights out game model class. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and, and download that guy. You just go ahead and click it to, to download it. Um, I already downloaded mine ahead of time. So I'm going to take a minute and grab that. So be right back. All right, so I, I grabbed mine, I uh, got it ready here. So I'm gonna go back to Eclipse and take my Lights Out game and drag it right into my package. Uh, I'll make a copy of it. Um, and then Lights Out game, we see we got an error here. And that's because the package was, was messed up. Let's go ahead and change that package. Uh, so we'll change it to be uh, the appropriate one. And it should be happy, right? So you're, you're used to this guy. Um, you used it in the, in the lab. Uh, so I'm not going to go over this again. All right, so we'll close this up, and let's go ahead and, and create a create a, uh, a model object, right? So so down here, we want to make a um, a game, right? So I'm going to have a private lights out with a space lights out game called my game, and then here we will say that that my game is going to be a new uh, lights out game. And we have a constructor here that, that allows us to pass the number of buttons. So let's pass in the, the field that, that we just set. All right. looks, looks pretty good.